everyone and welcome back to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and I'm very happy to have you here with me. Thank you to all of my subscribers, existing and new. Today's video is on revamping a pair of shoes that I've had for a while, a little bit dated, they're very comfortable, very good quality and I did not want to get rid of them but I did want to give new life to these shoes. So you're just going to need three things for this DIY. You need to have a pair of shoes and then you're going to need a scissors and a hot glue gun. That's all that you need. So these are the shoes I've decided to use. I got them some from Sears well over 11 years ago and they are in great condition. They are leather. They wore so well and they're super comfortable, but they're a bit dated. So I wanted to make them more relevant and more stylish and revamp them. So the funny thing is I received a package in the mail that I honestly don't remember ordering. Uh, if I did order this it would have to have been almost close to a year ago. I don't even know where I ordered it from because it doesn't have a store name on it but it has my name on it. So when I opened it this is what I found inside and I decided you know what I'm going to use the, the darker tones not the gray but the brown tones. I just cut the end of the fabric a little bit then I sized it down and I cut four strips. You guys will notice me cutting the end of the the strips that I'm using the white part off of it. It's just a little excessive for me and it hangs over the side so I wanted to eliminate having all that hangover. I'm attaching the piece of rabbit fur now. And I didn't actually put glue underneath where the shoe crisscrosses, but I put it very close to that area and then I just tuck it under, brought it through the other side and finished gluing it down that way. At this point you can stop here because the shoe does look really cute with just the one strap of fur. However, if I was going to do one strap of fur, I would not do the part that goes underneath. I would do the part that goes on the top. I think it would just be more aesthetically pleasing, but uh, you can just do the one. Because I knew I wanted to do the two straps, that's why I started off with the part on the bottom and now I'm just going to put the other strap on. There are some white areas. You see like I'm pulling back the hair. All you do is put a bit of glue there and push some of the hair over top of it so that you're not seeing the white part on the bottom. And that's just a nice, quick, easy fix. That's the final product. I think it looks cute. Really excited about this. So now on to the next side. If you're using um, a product similar to what I'm using here with the rabbit skin, try to make sure that it, when you put the glue, that it's going on the fabric part and not directly on the fur, if there is a fabric part. Um, if there isn't, then you know, you can put it right on the fur, but whatever you're using, when you're doing it, wherever the material is sealed together, whether it's by a stitch or glued or in this case with an additional piece of fabric, that's the part that you want to glue down 
in that way it's not going to rip or burst open and you're going to get a longer usage out of that product on your shoe. I really loved how the shoes turned out. I think it was so cute. The only thing I was a little frustrated with is that the camera was not picking up the true color of the shoe. You can see the true color in the shoe in this clip. Uh, guys, it's such a beautiful rich brown. I really love it. I think it looks really good. And the shoe looks like something that I spent quite a bit of money on. The original pair was quite expensive, so I'm happy to still keep it and give it new life. I hope you guys enjoyed the simple DIY and I'll see you in my next video.